Hey guys, it's Jari here, and today I would show you what is in my makeup bag. I didn't have a makeup bag up until now, and that's because I just bought a makeup bag with makeup. Because as a child, I hated wearing makeup because I used to have to wear it all the time for concerts because I was a dancer. <coughs> Sorry, um. So I always hated it because it was always really heavy makeup and it, and it always made me feel bad. And then to top it off, people always said I looked horrible in it, so I never wanted to wear makeup. And now I've learned, thanks to Jeffree Star, James Charles, and even Shane Dawson, you know, how to wear makeup properly. And now I sometimes, still very rare, I wear makeup and it makes me feel so much more confident. And then it's just cool to wear. So I thought today I would show you guys what I have and you know the brands, where I got it from, blah blah blah, and then kind of make my own makeup bag. If you would have talked to me a year ago even and said, Hey Jara, you're gonna make a video on what's in your makeup bag, I would have said you're insane. Because I always thought makeup was to hide your real beauty. It, you know, it's supposed to make you look bad. I never liked how people looked in makeup because I just saw it as I can't see who they truly are. And I was wrong. I still believe that people's natural faces, so no makeup, nothing, is still beautiful. But if people want to wear makeup, they still look beautiful too. And the more I grow, the more I learn these things. So <laughs> this is my makeup bag, I guess. I don't know. So this is my makeup bag itself. It's black and gold with two little compartments. I like having the two compartments so then one side can be like, I, could, I like having separation with things. So that's the makeup bag. So as we'll go throughout the video, I'll start putting things into the bag. So as you can tell, it hasn't been used. I just bought it. So the first thing, and I think one of the most important is the foundation. So this is Maybelline Super Stay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. So it's a 3-in-1, it's a foundation, concealer, and contour. I don't believe in that, I'll use it as foundation. And I'm in natural ivory right now, which is 112. So that's what it looks like. As you can see, that's... And it has a little beauty blender at the end, which is super helpful. So I use that a lot. Um, these are some of the newer stuff I've never used before, so we'll see how this goes. This is an e.l.f. makeup mist and set, so I have no idea how to use this. Well, I kind of do, but not a lot either. So that's what it looks like. Um, I'll get it out the box for you all, just so then everyone knows what it looks like if you don't know. Well, this is cool. So it's like a square little bottle that says, you know, makeup mist and set. So yeah, that will go into my makeup box. We also have a contour palette with a mirror included. It holds four shades to match and match and custom and defined looks. So the pigments are great for contouring, shading, sculpting, brightening and highlighting eyes, cheekbones, nose and jawline to slim and enhanced features. Infused with vitamin E to help nourish a gorgeous looking skin. So this is by e.l.f. as well. It's a light to medium shade because I feel like that's a good shade for me. We'll notice that most of this is e.l.f. because A, it's Jeffree Star approved, and B, it's really cheap but really good makeup. So that's, again, I'm just going to take out of the box if I can. So it says on the back, you know, it's a contour palette. This is what it looks like. And if I open it up, because I haven't opened it up yet, ooh, that looks pretty. So that's what the palette itself looks like with the mirror. So this is the lighter shade here. So it looks like that. Next we have the eyelid primer. As you can see, it's just in sheer because I think a light, light coat will do well. So you can see what it looks like in there. And then I also have concealer in the shade Fair, because I am a pretty fair, I'm like a semi-tan fair person, so you want your concealer to be lighter, to brighten. 
Do I have concealer? I don't know how to use concealer, but we'll learn. I also have got from, I think this is, yeah, this is also from e.l.f. My personal favorite thing in the entire world, not makeup related, but it's a lip exfoliant. I love this thing to death. As you can see just here, so it's in the shade clear. You just put it on, it makes your lips feel so much better. I had one of these and I lost them, so I'm glad I got a new one. Next thing that I've bought is a hydrating treatment for my lips because my lips get really cracked and dry sometimes. So this is in the flavor coconut. It's, you know, paraben and mint mixed free it's hydration this is from, from the brand oxx it's a i think it's an australian brand it's like your household brand type of thing so i'm excited to try that out the last things that i bought is a brush set which is also from oxx they're nylon brushes so you can see the brushes just there so they are powder brush angle power brush foundation brush eyeshadow brush and an angle eyeshadow brush so i will learn how to use those when i can so other things I bought as well is just face wipes by the brand Beauty Care and eye makeup remover by Beauty Care as well to help remove the makeup off. Then I just got some nose strips. That's just something I needed. Now these are things I've already had but I don't use them. So this is BYS eyeshadow. I don't use eyeshadow so this is a nice little palette. And then OX nail in the shade metallic i think it's like a black looks like that finally in case i want to look a bit shimmery i've got some body spray by boe or boe professional in vanilla cream Let's see. as you can see it's quite it's a light shimmer and then i've got all these different lipsticks in this bag here so mainly reds and nudes a little bit of other colors as well so i just grab so I've got like the Lily Sing one by Smashbox, which I use, as you can see, a lot. To like a nudie colour. To all random colours. To even, like I have a yellow. So that is what is in my makeup bag. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. Please tell me anything I'm missing. I still have highlighter left to buy. But that is about it, I believe. I don't do eyeliner and mascara. I'm still having to buy. So yeah. Anyway, dry out. See you guys in the next video. Whoop, sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Look at me turn into beauty guru. I will never be a beauty guru. But you know what? This is a video.